Good morning, people of the Most High God. Today, word for wisdom is that we were meant for more than this. And um, we're going to be elaborating on our purpose as children of the Most High God. And our first support scripture is taken from Psalms 84 and 11, which reads that, For the Lord God is a sun and shield. The Lord will give grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly. And I just want to tell somebody that children of God, the true and living God, we're not meant to live and to mount. We're not meant to, and uh, don't get me wrong, you know, we will face persecution. Even the scripture said that these are they that have gone through great tribulation. So it's not to say that you won't have hard times. I just want you to know that to be down is not your place. You know, God promises that we'll be the head and not the tail, the lender, and not the borrower. Right. I don't remember um, if it's in the book of Proverbs that says, um, um, uh, a man may fall or a good man fall or something to that effect seven times but he, he rises again you know and psalm 24 1 to 2 tells us that the earth is the lord and the fullness thereof the world and they that dwell therein for he had founded it upon the seas and established it upon the floods it's ours the word declared that he gives us dominion over everything on the face of the earth you understand so it is up to us to know the power that we hold, the authority that's been given unto us when you walk, yes, in the love and the light of the Most High God. You have to abide in him and he abide in you. Scripture teaches us to delight ourselves in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. So we have a part to play to see the full hand of God in our lives, you know? Scripture teaches us also, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness. Yes? All his righteousness, not some, not some. We have to be worthy in the sight of God. And saying all these things shall be added unto you. Right? So we're meant for more than this people of God. Do not settle. Do not settle for less. Let's walk in our purpose. Live. If you don't know what your purpose is, make it a point of duty to pray about it, fast about it. Yes, I don't know about anybody else, but what I know is that how I know what my purpose is, is that thing that gives me peace, that gives me satisfaction. When I do it, I am well. I don't have to second guess if this is it. You can feel it in your soul what your purpose is. And let me tell you something. None of us are made for just us. We are made to impact the lives of, of others. That's how God works through us. You understand? That's how God works. He works through us for the rest of his people. So one to another we serve each other. So whatever it is that you can extend to others... Or you can make somebody's life easy. I kid you not. That's your purpose. Because we are made for each other. Scripture teaches us that we are brother's keeper. Yes. So. People of God. Let's. Don't roll over. No matter how life hits you. Don't roll over. Let us. We can't call ourselves Christian, our children of God. You know, the word Christian is so tainted nowadays. Sometimes you're, you're afraid to, to say that you're a Christian. But nonetheless, we can't be believers. We can't be Christian. We can't be child of the most high God. Walking up and down with the Bible to and from every day. And we don't know what's in the Bible. We don't know the promises. It doesn't make sense. 
What do you stand on? You don't even know what you stand on. We don't even know what we stand on. No. We have to get in the word. We have to know what God's promise is towards us. Um, you know. We have to know it. We have to know them. We have to know them because when we pray, that's what we're going to remind him. Because I tell you this, when we pray, we're not asking God for anything new, you know. We're not asking God for anything new. It's ours. We just don't know it. We're not asking for anything new. We're reminding God of his promises towards us. We're saying, hey, you said this is mine. I think I've been in this valley long enough. So I'm asking you to dispatch your holy angels to give me what belongs to me. I expect you, mighty God, to stand on your word for your namesake according to your promises towards me. You know? So, scripture teaches us that we're here. We're here to um, the holy priesthood. Yes? To Christ. For salvation. So, we have to know that. We have to know who we are. If you don't know who you are, what do you stand on? So, um, this is it. You know, it was just kind of on my, my heart to, um, to get this to somebody. I don't know who or what. But, you know, sometimes you never know. Where it may drop, whose heart it may prick. So um, I'll just do a short prayer and yeah. Most righteous and eternal Father God, the one who sit high and look low. The one whose earth, who's there, mighty God, is his footstool. Mighty God, I come to you this morning and ask you, mighty God, to bring to remembrance your promises, mighty God, to your people, mighty God. Let them know that no good thing will you withhold from them that walk uprightly according to your word, mighty God. Convict them to go into scripture, to learn and to know your characteristics of the God they serve, mighty God, so they can walk in that purpose. They can walk with surety and certainty of the God they serve, mighty God. Help them to shift their focus from the resources, mighty God, to the ultimate source of it all. Because when we shift, mighty God, from the resources or focus from the resources and keep our eyes on the source, it doesn't matter what happens on that end because we know who commands it all, who's in control of it all, mighty God. We thank you for life, and life more abundantly. Bless our hearts. Mighty God, in the book of Isaiah, you say that your word will not come to you void, mighty God. It will not come back to your void, but it will go out and accomplish that, mighty God, which it was sent out to. Help us, mighty God, to believe your report. Your report, not what the enemy says. Help us to not accept defeat. Just roll over and, and think that this is it and there's not more. Because we were meant for more than this. So just give us the strength. Touch our hearts. May you all the angels encamp around us daily. As we seek your face daily, mighty God. Strengthen us. In a time such as this, mighty God. Amen.